Hey y'all, it's Diane with Y'all Craft One and my old barn door. And I am back from my trip. I had to stay gone a little longer than I expected, but that's okay because I got to spend some good quality time with my daddy. So, um, I had a chance to kind of do some reflecting and some, some deep thinking and trying to figure out where I'm going this year, <laughs> as I think we all do at the beginning of a brand new year. And even though um, we're almost at the end of January now, <laughs> I feel like I was gone forever. Um, you know, um, you still, usually, you know, in the month of January, you, you think about, you know, where you want your life to be for, for the following year. So, anyways. Um... I have lots to tell y'all, but I'm not going to do it in this video. Um, I'm thinking I might do just a craft with me video and not worry about the time. You know, I've been trying to um, keep my videos shorter so that maybe it doesn't wear you out or whatever. But I don't know. I think I might just kind of let myself maybe once a week or once a month have a little free um, crafting session with y'all and just kind of do what I want to do and not worry about the time. So, um, I will probably give y'all all the goodies and tell you all about my trip, uh, in that video. Uh, but for today, I would like to start working in my faith journal. Um, not sure if I'm going to do it every month or every week or, you know, I'm just going to kind of let him lead and, um, let him, uh, Give me direction on it. So, I'm going to zoom in for you just a little bit so you can see the journal a little better. And we'll just get started. So, um, I think I'm going to do this journal kind of like I'm doing my other journals. And I'm not going to, you know, go in chronological order. Um, I'm just going to, you know, as far as, you know, start at page one or whatever. I think I'm just going to flip through. I mean, it's not like... You know, there's not a whole lot of um, choices <laughs> in choosing a different page because um, all the papers are the same in my journal. But in your journals, um, you know, they might be different. And the journals that I made and put in my shop um, for anyone who needs a journal to grab to do, um, to journal along with me on this journey, um, they some of them have different pages in them too so sorry if y'all hear noises in the background we have people here working on our heater um we got about i don't know five or six inches of snow um on sunday <laughs> today is tuesday and our heat went out sunday night <laughs> in the middle of the night so we woke up like a little frozen box of ice and <laughs> now we're having to have the heat heater replaced so they're here working on that so the dogs pro will probably bark because they're hearing you know unfamiliar noises that they're not used to and things like that so just bear with me I'm sorry okay so what I want to do what um, I really want I prayed about what scripture to start out with and um, I just I've had this pull with this one particular scripture and then when I got home um, y'all know my um this is my commonplace book or journal that I write down everything in. And when I opened this up yesterday, um, I spent yesterday playing catch up and trying to catch up on answering messages and things like that because I didn't really get a whole lot of opportunity to do that while I was gone. So I had some catching up to do. But anyway, when I opened my commonplace book, this fell out and it was a reminder that this was the scripture that he had kind of laid on my heart to start with so that's what we're going to do and i'm going to go ahead and grab my bible real quick i'm going to sit this right here and i'm just going to show you or read to you um, the scripture and as you see here it's it's one of my favorite scriptures um, and i already had it marked it's proverbs 23 7 and it says for as he thinketh in his heart so is he and I had a pastor a long time ago, back in the 90s. I lived in Arkansas and sat under this pastor. He was a wonderful man, and he had a lot of insight. And he is the first one who ever brought that verse to my attention. 
And so basically the way he explained it is whatever you think you are in your heart and in your mind, that's what you will act like. So in other words, if you think that you're a bad person and you constantly say bad things to yourself and bad things about yourself, then you're going to act out those bad things because you're believing those about you. And it's not true. He didn't make no junk, so to speak. You know, he made you the way he made you and he gave you a purpose. And so I've always heard, you know, God didn't make no junk. And I know that is a very Southern phrase, <laughs> but I'm okay with that because I'm Southern. I know a lot of people have issues with my accents and things like that, but it's okay because I am who I am. And, you know, I'm, I'm not everybody's cup of tea and I'm okay with that too. So anyways, that is the scripture, the first scripture that I want to put in my journal. And I think what I might do is just tear this out here. So I'm just going to take my tear ruler and take it out. I'm going to save those other ones too because they're really good ones too. So I can put those back in my commonplace book. Um, but, you know, you have to... Stop standing in the mirror, so to speak, and saying bad things to yourself. You've got to talk positively to yourself. I absolutely believe in the power of positive speaking because if you think about it, in Genesis, when God created the heavens and the earth, and when he created light and darkness, and all of those things he created... In the very beginning, he spoke them to be. He spoke them into existence. And if you're one with Christ, if you have Christ living in you, then you have everything he has. And so your words have that same power. You just got to tap into it. But instead of speaking the good things, you know, that... Um, we see in our lives, we tend to focus on the bad things or the things that are, you know, less than or not up to par. You know what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, we tend to focus on those things. So if we can just get ourselves to start focusing on the good things, the positive things, and start speaking those things in our life, and I challenge you to do that because it will change it'll change your perspective it will change your life so i want to take this scripture and i've got some goodies here i don't know if you can see them but um this is my embossed papers i've just kind of been a little obsessed lately with my embossing uh, machine and <laughs> so i've been playing with it a lot and then i have this little tray of stuff this actually came on a little hat um that I bought while I was gone. Uh, I needed a boggin, and um, it was a cute little hat, and it's got three little places where you can wear a ponytail in different places. But I thought this was so cute, and I love the color, and so I thought we could put something on the back and then just make a little tag out of it. We can cover this up. So I thought we could do that, and I've just got some things that I thought we might could play with. Um, I might make a pocket out of one of these not sure I just thought it would be fun to maybe have a pocket so I guess I am starting on the first page <laughs> I don't know we'll see I think I like this one because it's got the butterfly on it and you know it's got the flowers and um, you might see a little butterfly here or there on this I'm not sure but anyways so I may put that on there as a pocket but I also I want to put this on here and I think what I might want to do is just do a little bit of collage on the page and just decorate the page pretty. And I definitely want to put the date on the page. So I think I'm going to sit these to the side and maybe just start with some messy collage and just get me going. You know, sometimes when you open up to a blank page, it's a little bit hard to kind of get started and do, you know, and get on the page what you want on the page. So I think I'm just going to 
start collaging. I would love to know um, if you all um, want me to do this. I, I'd like to know how how often you know y'all would like for me to do this, and I kind of want to let him lead, you know. But I can always take suggestions and ideas from my friends, so I never mind that. Um, so um, think about it and let me know in the comments below. And I'm just going to collage the page real quick um, and maybe pop in some music and then we'll come back and we'll do our, we'll finish the page. Our collage done I want to add the scripture and the date and I think I want to add because if I just put the scripture here it's gonna kind of be it's gonna kind of blend in with um, you know all of the other writing so I'm thinking I can probably put a little bit of ink on it to help it stand out a little bit so let's just grab some ink here if I can find some that I want well, let's go with the dusty concord and I'm just going to ink around the edges just to make it stand out a little add some pretty colors to go with it so I want you ladies whoever's you know following along and listening I want you to take some time this week however long it takes to remember how good you are how good he made you he did a great job when he made you you know he didn't mess up um, and even though we think that we mess up sometimes um, he says he doesn't see those things and I'll try to find that scripture for you and we'll we'll use it in in the journal um, maybe in the near future so I think I want to put, I think I want to use a label to put the date on. So let me just scoot this out of the way and find my tarot ruler. And I'm just going to use this purple and green one because it'll go good um, with uh, the colors that are in the page already. Okay, so we have our label. And you can get these labels in my shop, um, in my Etsy shop. The links are below if you'd like to have some labels to use and then I think I'm just going to take a I think I actually want to take a sharpie and put the date today is January the 18th so I just want to put very simply 1 18 22 and then maybe we could put a pretty piece of washi on it 
to decorate it. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get it in the journal and get these laid down real quick. Whoops, I'm throwing my glue. All right, so we're going to go this way. And I think I kind of want to put this um, maybe right in here. So that we can see the date really well and what date we started so this is our very first um, faith journal with me I don't know if I'm gonna call it that or not but and then I just kind of want to put this across the page here because that's the main um, that's the verse that we're using and then I have some of actually instead of using this washi I'm gonna use some of my rice paper washi um, I have rice paper washi in the shop, <clears throat> excuse me, and I have digital washi in the shop that you can, the digital washi, you can print yourself and use it. Um, the rice paper washi, I would print it for you on the rice paper and send it to you. So we're going to go ahead and get some glue on our rice paper washi. And I just want to put this at the very top here like it's it's holding the label on like so okay and then I went ahead and I took my little um, blessed girl tag and I put some of the green masking paper on the back and then I covered up where it says boutique here um, I've got a little piece of twine here or actually I think this is maybe embroidery thread and I'm just going to run it through here maybe if I can get there we go. And then I'm just going to tie a little bow. A teeny tiny little bow. And then, y'all, my bows are terrible. <laughs> the main point of this is I want y'all to know that whatever you think about yourself and whatever you say about yourself, that's what you're speaking into your life. And so I want you to know that you are worth so much more than what you give yourself credit for. And I want you to start recognizing that and believe in it because it's true. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trim this down just a little because I don't want it to overwhelm the tag. Here we go. And then I'm just going to make a little pocket down here. And I think I'm going to take um, this and just make a little pocket for my sweet little tag to sit in. So I think I'm just going to glue on three sides. Don't need to be a huge pocket because it's a little tag. I'm going to put a little bit more glue on that because we don't want it coming loose. Oh goodness. Okay, and we'll put that right about there. It doesn't have to actually be like a pocket, but um, you know, as far as sitting all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna tuck my little tag in right there. And then when I come open this and come to this page, I can read my first scripture and what the date was that um, that scripture spoke to me. And you know for this journal and I think that'll do it so y'all just remember um, that the Bible says you are the righteousness of God so there's a lot more to that than just you know something that's gonna that you're gonna be in the future it says that you're that right now it uses um, present tense so really really think about that and search the scriptures and see exactly what it is he says about you. Because he says um, that you are worth a lot more than what religion has told us. So anyways, Proverbs 23, 7. Take a peek at it. Enjoy it. Proverbs is a great, great book. It's a very encouraging book. Um, read it in several different versions. If you don't understand it, you know, in whatever version that you read. Find a different version of it because that will help you um, to understand it a little better. Um, I hope I've encouraged you today. I hope you've enjoyed 
um, our first session together and I look forward to the sessions coming in the future. Hope y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below. Big hugs.